recession. It's coming, and you need to prepare by stacking gold and silver. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. This is going to be more of a macroeconomic discussion, but it's really, really important that those stacking out there be encouraged by what you're doing, see what's coming, and those who are new to stacking or looking into stacking, this is one's for you as well. This period, I think, may be one of the last periods we have to help protect ourselves from what's coming. We have seen some amazing, dramatic fiscal and monetary craziness over the last week. Stuff that, if I tried to pull on Mrs. Yankee, we could end up in divorce court. So, I mean, we're talking serious stuff. So, let's recap. What happened this week? Well, Donald Trump signed a budget bill. And I use the term budget probably as loosely as is linguistically possible for Yankee. This, uh, this budget deal was lauded by Democrats and, uh, and rhinos too in the Senate. And it will add trillions, trillions to our U.S. debt. <laughs> this, this is the same guy who promised he'd wipe out the national debt in eight years. So. We can finally kiss the remnants of the Tea Party goodbye, right? I mean, this is, this is now game on with profligate debt spending. We're going all in. That pesky little uh, debt ceiling too, gone. Gone for two years at least. It was actually more of a debt target anyway, so they just wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. It, it just freaked everybody out when they were threatening to shut down the government or, or actually did shut it down. So let's get rid of the limits. Let's just spend spend like drunken sailors again, right? You know, let's do it. Uh, we're fiscally toast, people. And what did the Fed do this week? Well, of course they did what no one could ever have predicted six months ago, right? No one could have seen this happening, right? Well, <laughs> some people did, including myself back in January. What did they do? They cut rates, 25 basis points, and they stopped reducing their enormous balance sheet. They did that two months early, by the way. So they totally reversed course from back, you know, uh, last year when they said, okay, we're on autopilot, guys. We're going to raise rates. We're going to reduce uh, our balance sheet from the 09 financial crisis. We're doing that. And then boom, complete about face. As I said in my video, um, it's different this time, right up there. They had to do that. They had no choice. There was no way out. Once they sucked up all those toxic assets from a decade ago and then reduced rates down to zero and left them there for seven years. Okay, so monetarily we're toast. Fiscally we're toast. Monetarily we're toast. So what is going on here? What's going to happen, and how, how does how does precious metals help us? What do they do for us? Well, I'm going to borrow a weather analogy here because I I don't know Yankee actually dreamed of being a, a, a meteorologist when I was young and and, and thought it'd be so cool to be a, a storm chaser, but uh, yeah, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> so I love the weather, I love watching radar and all that. So let let me give you an analogy. I believe. The economic forecast is mostly recession with a chance of depression, high pressure unemployment, market collapse, and an inflation heat index that will be scorching us at the pump and at the checkout counter and elsewhere. That's my forecast. Now, if that sounds really, really a downer, like Yankee, come on, man, why are you doing this to us? Either you already know, or you think I'm just being shrill and over the top. <laughs> I'm not. I, I don't talk like this usually on like coast to coast because Silver Dragons hates it when I go ranting like this. But 
I really, really think this is important for us to, to try to grasp, okay? So let, let's start with this first chart because you know, Yankee loves charts, right? This is the probability of a U.S. recession. Now, this was done right before the rate cut, so we got a little question mark here. You could just, you know, just, just watch that right off. Let's get rid of this question mark. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. They cut. So what happened? Back here, uh, 2001, the gray is a uh, recession. You can see what happened. Alan Greenspan was the uh, head of the Fed at that point. And yeah, we had a rate cut right before the probability of a recession shot up. Notice that it was actually, the recession actually started prior to its peak. This is the sentiment. This is what people think is coming as, as far as a recession is concerned. So they cut, the recession hits, the expectation takes off, and then as rates come down, the expectation, okay, we're good, we're good, everything is, well, everything is awesome. You can see right here, rates come back up again. Oh, oh, maybe we're gonna have another recession, and they cut right before the recession hits, right before, right before here, right before here, and then we have the Great Recession, 2008, 2009. And then we bring rates down to zero forever and ever and ever, and the rates started to increase. Well, so did our expectations. And what happened? Well, last week they cut a quarter point. And you're going to tell me that a recession isn't about to happen. I'm telling you, it is imminent. Oh, but, but, but Yankee, what are you talking about? Uh, things look great, right? The market's doing awesome. Uh, what about low unemployment numbers, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about that for a minute. Now, you hear the headline unemployment numbers, and you never hear that most of those people that are getting jobs are working two jobs two part-time jobs. Part-time jobs are skyrocketing. People are working two jobs and the government now counts both of those in their figures. So it's artificial. Shoot, candidate Trump knew it was artificial. That's a bad way to look at it. And also, if you look underneath the covers there as well, you'll find out that, that the bulk of those returning into the workforce and all those people that are 50 or older, 50 or older, in my age bracket, or 60, when you when you start thinking about retirement, you don't want to come back into the uh, a workforce. That is a bad sign. And and finally, remember this too: unemployment is a trailing indicator of a recession. Businesses, starting with the small ones all the way up to the big ones, start laying off relatively long after the recession has started. So so don't be fooled by the headline numbers about unemployment. Now, recession. So in my January 4th prediction video, I said recession would begin, it was my guess, by the end of the summer. Labor Day is just a month away from the video, uh, from me creating this video. Now, <laughs> I had fun with that prediction video. It was a blast. I predicted a bunch of stuff. Go back and check it out and see how well I'm doing. But I'm going to give the caveat right now. I probably should have started out with this. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do not take my uh, statements that I make here as financial advice. Do your own research, yada, yada, yada. This is just for fun. However, with the recession, it usually takes months of revisions to declare when the recession actually began. So even though we're almost to Labor Day and I might be wrong, I'm going to withhold judgment on that prediction because you know, it could be months from now that they look back and say, oh, shoot, the recession actually started in August. So, I mean, the Great Recession, it took six months for the government's numbers to be revised so they could go back and say, oh, that's when the, the recession actually began. So let's move on to markets. We need to remember that the stock market does not equal the economy. It's a reflection of the economy, one of many. The Fed is amazingly market-driven. The markets and Trump weren't happy with what happened with the latest rate cut. They didn't want a quarter basis. They wanted a half, 50, 50 basis points. They didn't get it. Not yet. But just like an economic junkie, they want bigger and bigger fixes. Another monetary shot in the arm. That's what they want. Yeah, bring it, bring it. The fact that our equities markets are in a massive bubble should be 
It should be clear to everybody. It's insanely low interest rates that have encouraged corporate stock buybacks and high risk investments. So, so we know what's gonna happen to the market. It's just a matter of just a little more time in my book. So if you've ridden the markets to historic highs right now, and you're smiling at your IRA and your 401k statements, you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, that wealth effect is deceiving. You haven't maybe sold anything, you just see the uh, paper assets going up in price. That's great, awesome. But I'm gonna tell everybody right now to get out now. Especially if you're over 40, get the heck out of the markets. I'm telling you right now, you don't wanna stay in there much longer. Because when it pops, we're not talking, oh, I don't know, just a you know a year of, of down numbers. No, I don't believe that at all. I think it's going to be an amazing event, a very, very painful event for our country. Because I think what's going to happen is what they did last time. They are going to go all in, the mother of all stimulus, QE4, or whatever they call the thing. Because I think it's going to be a reset, an economic chaotic reset and they're not going to be able to stop it all right so then what happens well in my opinion inflation is what we need to worry about let me let me uh let me throw this down there too when the markets uh roll over which i think is coming shortly look at this where's all this massive money printing gonna go look at it all right now it's in our financial institutions. That's where it's locked up. That's where inflation is. But when the markets pop, that money is coming back into consumer prices. And I think the Fed is gonna completely lose control of inflation. You know, let, let, me, let me show you one other thing here. This is, this is inflation. Not, not so much the, the size of the, the money supply, but really uh, a, a rate of uh, consumer price index. So you can see the Fed loves to target, oops, <laughs> Yankee with the paper of charts. The Fed loves to target 2%. That's their goal. And, and, and recently, or since the last uh, recession, you can see it's, it's been below their target, below 2%. Ooh, and they're even talking about now, eh, it could go above 2%. It could be two and a half, three. What's the big deal? It's been below two for so long. Yeah, that's not what you need to worry about. This is what you need to worry about. When all that money I showed you in the last chart comes out of the markets into our economy, consumer prices will skyrocket. We're looking back here in the 70s. That's what stagflation look like. That is what we should be painfully scared of. That brings me to the final discussion. What do we do about it? Some of you, or actually probably most of you out there, have stacked and stacked and stacked. And you're trying to stack. And maybe you're stacking because it's beautiful, because you're a, a collector type stacker. Maybe you think this is a, an awesome investment and you love, uh, love getting silver and gold to flip. You're a flipper stacker. It's all about the trade. It's all about you know, what you can get, what's popular and all that. That's awesome. You should know by now Yankee is a prepper stacker. I'm preparing for chaos. I'm preparing for the Federal Reserve to lose control of inflation. It is a hedge of protection. It has historically held its value phenomenally well when inflation goes haywire. And that's what I believe is going to happen. So I encourage you, if you haven't started stacking, be a prepper. I say all the time, stack on, prep on. I prepare in a lot of different ways for what I think is coming. This is one of them. This is a hedge. You need to be stacking your silver and gold. You need to be redoubling your efforts. I am. I'm trying really hard to get as much as I can before, well, before the values skyrocket. And I do think it's going up. Now, will it hit the moon? I, that's for a different video. I'll tell you how far I think silver and gold will go in another video. But for now, let this just sink in. 
a reset, a crisis, a collapse is coming. Be prepared. And as always, I hope your day is a okay.